Hello, this is Mr. Allen. I am your son or daughter's geometry teacher, and I wanted to give you a quick update for what's going on this week, October 19th. So this week, we are looking at a section that is detailing some of the angle relationships within a triangle. So here's a sample problem. Um, so you can see I've got a shape here with uh, three different triangles drawn in it, and it says find the values of X and Y in the diagram. So the first and probably the most important theorem of this particular section is what we call the triangle angle sum theorem, which says that the three angles of a triangle equals 180 degrees. So that tells me that the measure of angle A plus the measure of angle ABD plus the measure of angle BDA equals 180. So this is the triangle that if we look at the picture, the triangle on the left, that's the triangle I'm referring to. So if we add up those three angles, they have to add up to 180. Well, we can see that angle A is 59, and angle ABD is 43. Angle BDA, that's X, and so those have to add up to equal to 180. Therefore, X has to be 78. The other theorem that's very important in this section is the triangle exterior angle theorem. This theorem tells us that the measure of angle BDC is equal to the measure of angle A plus the measure of angle ABD. In other words, the exterior angle is equal to the sum of the two remote interior angles. We know that the measure of angle BDC in that diagram is Y. The measure of angle A is again 59, and the measure of angle ABD um, is 43, so we just need to add those two together. Therefore, Y is equal to 102. So I have a question for your uh, son or daughter, if they happen to be watching this, is to describe two ways that they could calculate Z, the um, number that would go into Z to make that, e that e expression true. So final thoughts for this week. Number one, this week uh, is the beginning of the second nine weeks. If your son or daughter did well first semester or the first nine weeks, I would encourage you to tell them to keep doing what they're doing. If they didn't do as well as they'd like to do, first nine weeks, I would encourage them to think about and reflect what can they be doing different to do better. So for example, could they come and visit Mr. Allen for advisory more often? Um, I don't have a lot of students that come in for extra help. Um, or if you're a virtual student, could you come to my virtual office hours to get some extra help to help get those grades up? Number two, we have a new bell schedule that started this week. Um, instead of going one day a week, students are coming, hybrid students are coming twice a week. Um, they're probably already aware of this because it's, I'm making this video on Wednesday. Um, but for those of you that are virtual students, um, they need to be aware that they take quizzes and tests during their scheduled class time. So if they're in my second period class and their last name is Allen, then next week they will take the chapter two test during that second period time block. Now, I've included um, a link under this video which tells exactly when the periods meet and which days. And finally, discipline. I think discipline is one of the most important characteristics of a, a successful math student, particularly if someone isn't naturally good at it. They need to be disciplined. They need to make sure they get their homework done. They need to be making sure that they watch the videos. They need, need to be making sure that they're asking questions and doing their part to learn the material. So thank you for your time and I hope you have a great day.